What's up, guys? This is Kefis. Welcome to Class Course, where we take a brief look at a specific class and spec from World of Warcraft and break down their core rotation. So if you're not too familiar with how to play a particular class, you've come to the right place. But if you're looking for something a little bit more advanced, like stat weights or talent builds, you might want to check out the class discords, and I will provide links to them in the description below. Today we're going to be talking about Fury Warriors, and let me tell you, there is not a single class in this game that gets me more pumped up than when I'm playing a Fury Warrior. Bruce? You get a little angry, okay, buddy? Okay. Yeah, I don't remember how to do that. I do. Seriously, if you have never found yourself in a battleground as a Fury Warrior, charging at enemies, heroic leaping all over the place, hacking and slashing your way through the enemy faction, then my friends, you have never lived. My name is Michael. Jacobus and I. Hey. Fury Warriors may not have the survivability and self heals of, say, a Ret Paladin, but the allure of their fast paced gameplay can be hard to deny. Fury Warriors are simply fun to play. So if you want to try one out, I can get you started with the basics, but we're mainly going to focus on the core rotation, just to keep things simple. For Fury Warriors, it's all about rage and enrage, and don't get those two things confused, because they're not the same thing. Rage is the resource that you will build, and once you have enough of it, you can spend it on a very powerful ability called Rampage. Rampage does a lot of damage and causes enrage. When your Fury Warrior becomes enraged, their overall damage, haste, and movement speed increases for 4 seconds. So you'll want to use Rampage as soon as you can if you're not enraged, or to spend Rage to prevent yourself from overcapping. Now your melee attacks will generate Rage over time, but you also have a number of other abilities that will generate Rage as well. For the majority of the fight, you'll use Raging Blow and Bloodthirst to generate Rage. Now, Raging Blow has two charges, but Bloodthirst has a chance to cause you to go enraged. So Bloodthirst will always take priority if you're not already enraged. When these abilities are on cooldown, you can use Whirlwind as filler. Now, when your target is below 20% health, you can use Execute to generate Rage. But if you've taken the Sudden Death talent, then you can use Execute anytime whenever Sudden Death procs. Either way, whenever you can use Execute, it will be your main priority when it comes to generating Rage. So we've gone over your core abilities, but there are a few talents to make note of. If you choose Bladestorm or Dragon Roar, use them on cooldown to generate Rage. You can also use Siege Breaker to generate Rage if you choose it as a talent but doing so will cause it to become your main priority when it comes to generating rage. And lastly, we need to go over Furious Slash. If you choose it as a talent, it will replace Whirlwind as your filler. But using Furious Slash increases your haste by 2% for 15 seconds, and this can stack up to 3 times. So if you do not have 3 stacks of Furious Slash, then your main priority is to use Furious Slash until you have 3 stacks. No matter what talents you go with, the fundamental point of your rotation is to generate as much rage as you can and use Rampage in order to keep yourself enraged as much as possible. And don't forget that you can use Recklessness on cooldown to increase your damage and rage generation for a short time. And always remember to charge into your enemies whenever you're at range, whether at the beginning of a fight or during the encounter. Doing so not only keeps you in melee range, but it will also generate rage. Hopefully this video has helped get you started, but keep in mind that in Battle for Azeroth, there are a lot of factors that can change up how your class is played. Talents, Azerite armor, essences, and even PvP talents 
can have a significant impact on your rotation. So if you would like more information on all of that, again, I highly recommend that you check out the class discords. Thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, let me know by clicking that like button. And feel free to share it with your friends so they can enjoy it as well. Don't forget, you can subscribe to the channel and click on the bell icon to be notified as soon as new videos are posted. You can also follow me on Facebook and Twitter, and if you'd like, you can support this channel on Patreon. Links to all of this can be found in the description below. This is Kefis, until next time.